coming up now to uh, face the starter. Matthew Hamilton starting on pole. Chris so Cox beside him. Yeah, Matthew Hamilton did save his tyres last one, so maybe he worked out the points and knew that he was going to be off pole anyway. Yeah, that would be interesting to see. I'm surprised Daniel didn't, um, didn't go a bit harder in that last seat. And some are stalled there. It looks like some are stalled. It looks like Regan Carter has stalled. But Thanks. Matthew Amos still gets the jump and he's in the lead. Followed by Daniel Bray, Chris Cox, Matt Burkhard, Scott Manson and Andy Knight in with the new tyres. So it will be interesting to see how fast Andy Knight is early on. And Manson's just uh, just jumped straight past Burchart there. That's a shame that Regan didn't get that thing going a bit earlier. So both Matthew, Daniel and Chris are going hard in these first couple of laps. Definitely wanting to get that pole position for the final so they can get the jump and hopefully get away early. As they come around the straight now, it's Matthew Hamilton. 1NZ leads 2NZ, Daniel Bray. Then it's 3NZ, Chris Cox. So 1, 2 and 3, all line of stern. And Andy Knight now passed and now is released into fifth position. But no. Got him back. Matt gets him back, so... And he doesn't seem to be getting through here, and he's losing track position. So Daniel Brown, that last lap was a little bit quicker, but it is only one lap. So it's an 11 lap final for these cases of two carts. The finals will be, sorry, 11 lap pre-final. The final will be uh, 17 laps. Hamilton uh, a little bit faster on that lap, so Chris Cox not far off the pace either, so it's I think Chris be is like between those front three. Yeah, getting a little bit held up, but they've got to be careful. They can't slide the cart too much because then they'll have no tyres there for the final. Yeah, Manson needs to uh, try and get call himself back onto the uh, the rear of that Marinello of Chris Cox. But then again, it could be saving his tyres. It could be. Yeah, that's uh, it's an interesting game this one. Hamilton just checking there to see if he's holding that gap and he certainly is they're running almost identical times there Hamilton Bray Chris Cox a little bit slower Andy Knight not really on the pace this weekend with those new ties former Toyota Racing Series champion Andy Knight has come back to his grassroots here at Cartsport Melbourne in the KZ2 class I think that just shows the um, the level of intensity that you get out of driving one of these KZ2 carts it's certainly uh, it's not easy and it's for me it's something that I've, I've always done to keep myself fit pretty hard to keep up with some of these blokes though especially when you're racing against the likes of Matt Hamilton Daniel Bray oh Chris Cox makes a dive into the corner and as Dan Daniel just muscles us out muscle him out a little bit that's a good move there from Chris he's um He's showing that he's got the speed and he's going to be able to throw it in if he's there. Yeah, he's obviously keen to make a move. I, th I feel Daniel Bray's struggling a bit. I feel he's uh, driving the wheels off that card and it's not I quite think he might catching. have just picked up the intensity a little bit there yeah. now that Chris has made, him, uh, made his presence known. Hamilton again having another look. Andy Knight struggling a, a little bit there at the back. So Chris is right back onto the onto the back of Daniel Bray now in the GP cart. So yes. So the all line is stern. Chris Cox is still behind Daniel Bray, putting the pressure on, making sure Daniel doesn't relax too much. I think Scott Manson there in fourth right is there. sitting. He's, um, he's having a look down there, I think. Is he? No, he's dropped, right, dropped back off, so it uh, hasn't worked out for him. I know if I was in this class, I'd just be saving my tyres. That will be my priority number one. I'd be but, saving um, my ribs probably <laughs> at this stage. <laughs> exactly. Yes, these cuts are very physical, as Richard touched on before. And uh, a lot of racing car drivers do come back, such as Andy Knight, to keep their race fitness up in case they have to 
step up into a Toyota Racing Series car again or in the, in the likes of Richard's case, a V8 Super Tour? Yeah, it's certainly uh, much more comfortable driving around in a padded seat in a Super Tour than it is in one of these. The uh, soft tyres combined with all the power and... And front brakes, not to and mention. And front brakes, it's uh, certainly a very physical class. The lateral loading on a, on a good grippy day like today is, uh, is pretty high. It's also interesting, um, they're quite a lot different than uh, our standard Yamaha Heavy or Rotex Light um, chassis. They, like we mentioned before, they've got front brakes, sticky tyres, and they're also changing gears. So it's a lot busier than, say, you know, Rotex Light um, doing you've a lot more. Yeah, you've certainly got your hands full on one of these. You've also got an adjustable brake bias, which um, which you won't adjust much during a race, but it's it's quite important to get that balance right. Chris is really putting some pressure back onto. Uh, on to Bray here, who want to get on that front row for the standing start for the final. So it looks like Matthew Hamilton's just lifted his pace a bit, probably saving those tyres like we said before. Um, Daniel Bray has posted a quicker time in that last race, as Chris Cox is still putting the pressure on him. So last lap now for Matthew Hamilton. Let's see how much Scott Manson relaxes as he's still Chris up with the front bunch. Chris is right there. He's not going to make a move there. He's got good drive out of that tight right-hander. He still doesn't look like he's going to have a look up there either. As they come up the hill, I don't think anyone's going to make a move. I don't think anyone's close enough. Chris is there, but he's not close enough. There's one thing to catch up. There's another thing to pass. Yeah, this has certainly been one of the uh, one of the more tame races of the day so far. Yes, Matthew Hamilton takes that win, followed by Daniel Bray, Chris Cox, Scott Manson. Uh, that's your top four. And then we'll wait and see what Matthew Kingsman can do when he comes out in the final with brand new tyres from grid position eight. Unfortunately, Andy Knight with brand new tyres in that one didn't make it up any further than seventh position. I think he actually he might have he did he Andy Knight did come in after lap five so still saving those ties. It'll be interesting to see what happens in the final of KZ two.